Yeah, no, we're obviously so excited to be, you know, to be 4-1 up um, and to win the series in India. I think it's a very special achievement for, you know, for our team, especially being in India. It's never easy um, to, to play here and, and take the series, you know, away from the Indian team like we did. So extremely proud of the girls um, and we're all just very happy. I mean, we always speak about having partnerships and I think chasing 190, um, you're always going to need a partnership here or there that can take you through. And I think, you know, Annika and Mignon did an amazing job to, you know, to graft a bit um, and to just keep the, the scoreboard um, ticking. So they did an exceptional job um, and I'm super proud of them. Yeah, I think it will only make it stronger. Um, I think, you know, a lot of girls put up their hands, you know, in the series. Um, and I think, you know, no matter what, what team we are playing or who's the 11 that we're going to play when they return, you know, it's going to be the strongest 11 and, you know, the people unfortunately missing out, um, they're going to be exceptional players that, you know, they got the experience and um, the series without Ada and Chloe being there. Um, so I think it's going to be a difficult 11 to choose with a lot of players being in form and putting up their hands. But I think it's a, it's a good headache to have when, you know, when a lot of players are in form and, and scoring runs and taking wickets. Yeah, no, I think the coaches can be extremely proud. I think a lot of girls put up their hands, like I said, um, you know, chasing big totals. Um, I think that's, if we're looking towards the 50 over World Cup next year in New Zealand, it's it's high scoring rounds. Um, and that's the type of totals we, we are going to be chasing or setting. Um, so I think it was a good experience now um, to, to kind of get the feel for it and kind of see how you, how you manage a chase like that and, and when do you start going and when do you start holding back and, and when do you just rotate. Um, so I think it was it a was good experience to, to have um, with a couple of games that we played now. I think all five games were different scenarios and different situations. Um, and I think that's, that's the experience we're going to be needing when we go into the World Cup next year. Yeah, I didn't say specific milestones. I think the biggest thing for me was just to, you know, whenever I got the chance to either bad ball um, and even in the captains, you rolled it up and given um, to just do that to the best of my ability and to help the team the best I can in, in all the games. Um, so that was, I don't know if that's a milestone, but that's the kind of, or the type of goals that I set for myself when I came here um, to just be the best version of myself and to help the team as, as best I could. Um, and as for the team, you know, we wanted to come here. We wanted to, to get a historic series win in India. We always knew it was going to be extremely tough, but I think, you know, where the goals for one, I don't think we ever expected that. So um, I think that's a goal achieved. Um, we also moved one up in the rankings, number three in the world, um, overtaking here. So I think that's very special for our team. It's, it's the first time we've done that. So I think, you know, we can go into the T20 series smiling that, you know, our 50, our 50 over game um, is coming together very nicely. And, you know, the combinations we wanted to try out, you know, worked. And, and that's always a positive to see that. But two, three years back when we toured here, um, I think that's what set us apart. Um, India demolished us with their spin um, and they, I think they took the series 3-0. Three, three um, but we had a Pakistan series before this, you know, coming to India and we played in Durban, which is kind of subcontinent conditions. Um, and they obviously being a subcontinent team had a lot of, a lot of spin um, that were bold to us. So I think that was really good, you know, coming here um, to, to experience that and to, you know, find ways to, to, um, attack attack that um, and find ways to play it and score runs of spin. We always knew coming to India, they're just going to throw 30, 40 overs of spin. And, and we were, I think we were mentally ready for that. And we, we just had a mind shift change of being more positive towards facing spin. And I think that definitely showed in the series. Yeah, and no, it's, it's quite a quick turnaround. Um, I think both games are played back to back, seven o'clock in the evening. It's, it's a little time to recover, but um, luckily we're fit and strong and ready to go. So I don't think that will be a problem. T20 is, is a difficult game. You never know um, kind of which side it will go. But luckily we have a very strong bowling attack as well as a batting attack. And, and I think it's just kind of, you know, who's going to who's gonna pick up the hand on the day. It can be bowlers and it can be batters in the same day. So um, we're just looking forward to, to the challenge and to just finish on top in that series as well. Um, yeah, no, they, they're a bunch of players with a lot of talent and we've known that for, for a very long time. It's just a matter of, 
when they kind of got to realize it and, and take the opportunities. Um, and I think they've done that extremely well this, this series. They've picked up their hands. Um, Laura recently got, got added to our contract system. It just shows the hard work she's been putting in. Um, and I think Annika is knocking up on the door as well with, you know, with the first ever profit today. So it's just, it's very good to see the youngsters coming through um, and picking up their hands in crucial moments as well. Um, no, we don't have a sports psychologist, but I think it, it just comes with experience. Um, I think the more games you play, um, the more you, you get yourself into certain pressure situations that you need to, that you need to get through. Um, and I think we've, we've been in enough pressure situations now to, to kind of identify when, uh, where we're struggling and where we can get better. So I think it, it all comes, it comes down to the more games you play. We look like a team. Like Australia and England, they've, they've played a lot of games and they've been in a lot of semifinals and finals. They know how to handle pressure. And I think the only way they got there was by playing a lot of games and by, you know, getting into, into the semis and the finals. And I think that's something we need to do. We just need to keep on getting into semis and, and eventually work through that to get to that finals. Because I think, as you guys can see, I think we are a world-class team that's, you know, that's really... Um, you know, we've been working hard for, for a lot of years and we really want to be on, on top of the world and, and to compete with Australia and England. And I think we're, we're there. Um, so I think it's just the more games you play, especially against um, teams like India, England, Australia. Um, I think that's, that's, that's going to be the way to go to, to, to learn how to handle the, the British situations. Yes, I think so. I think the more you play in the international leagues, you get to know other players as well and you get to experience different conditions and, and you get to pick other players and, and other coaches' brains as well. So I think, you know, with the players we have in the WBBL, you know, in the Super League, in the IPL, I think those players just come back with, with a lot of feedback and a lot of experience and, and that they, share, they definitely share their knowledge with, with the teammates, yeah. Um, and I think that's definitely been helping us you know, to, to kind of change our game and to take our game forward. Um, so that's that's very crucial for us to have those players in those competitions and to just, you know, learn from the best and to bring it back here so, you know, so that we can improve all the time.